My name's Becky, um, I'm one of the co-owners of Chrome Cupcakes. Um, I run the business with my partner Russell. Hi, my name's Russell Horn, I'm co-owner of Crumb. Crumb is basically a home-created cupcake company. We offer cupcake courses um, for people of varying abilities and we also offer bespoke cupcakes and wedding cakes. I didn't have necessarily enough culinary skills to create and uh, do the cupcakes, but my other half could. <laughs> My background is in design and marketing and I've done that for eight years as a freelancer. The idea was that obviously you know, people had approached me in the past and asked me to make cupcakes for them and I realised there was a niche in the market. I'd obviously been on cupcake courses myself, realised there was nothing in the local area um, and saw that obviously this was something that I could develop on. Uh, Crumb has been in business for just over 12 months but prior to that we were a home business um, just making cupcakes and orders for weddings and things. Um, but that we wanted to branch out and look for properties to run courses from. The initial costs for our business were the property and the equipment and buying the first level of, of stock really, um, insurances and all those kind of things that all businesses needed to start up. We decided to finance the business ourselves um, because we wanted to keep repayments down so we didn't really necessarily want to have bank loans or anything like that hanging over us. It meant that anything that we actually make, any profit, we can put back into the business without having to repay. Using our own money to fund the business um, and to start up obviously is quite risky because if, you know, if it failed then we would have lost that. However, I think it was only quite a small risk that we managed to kind of minimise as much as possible by using kind of the money that we had and our earnings. Well, the main benefits for using our own money for the business was really, one was mainly there's nothing lingering over our heads, there's no banks bringing down our necks or there's, there's no interest payments and then that leads on to the second point where we can slowly build it up then with our own money, we can invest more into it, more into stock. Everything you do you can start small and build up, so if you've not got the repayments to make then any profit that you're making you can then put straight back into the business and build it up from there. And I think that's something to kind of, you know, not be scared of starting small and building up because people don't necessarily, you know, need you to be big. I don't think there's much that we would do differently if we were setting up again um, with our own money. Um, I think we've used our money quite wisely. At the moment working part-time and trying to set up a small business is quite difficult because you're working seven days a week so perhaps having the support of an additional partner would have been beneficial. Mm -hmm.